Hedy Lamarr was an Austrian-born American film actress, well known for her movies Ecstasy, Algiers, Lady of the Tropics, and more. She was scouted for talent after arriving in London in 1937, but then soon after began her career in New York City. Her successes in acting were recognized when her film Samson and Delilah became the highest grossing film of 1949, winning itself two Oscars. During her successful career, what was lesser known was that Hedy Lamarr took on a hobby of inventing. She created designs for airplanes and carbonated drink tablets, but what was most notable about her inventions was the frequency hopper. During World War II, she and a composer George Antheil developed technology which would allow radio communication to avoid being intercepted by enemy soldiers, known as frequency hopping. The invention involved rapidly changing the frequency. It was inspired by the Philco music machine and the piano toll. Unless the frequency hopping algorithm was known, interception would almost be impossible, and that was the case for the Nazis' attempt to intercept Allied communications to gain information on location or block their message channels. This was used during the 1962 Cuban Missile Crisis, in which all the US ships blockading Cuba were using torpedoes guided by frequency hopping system. Techniques using the same foundation were also used during the Vietnam War and the US Mastar satellite defense mechanism. Despite her inventions being initially rejected by the US Navy for being too bulky, it was later used as a foundation for plenty of inventions by the Nazis, such as the creation of the Kisanu Boy. So how is frequency hopping used today? For over 60 years, frequency hopping played a vital role in industrial applications. Both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth bases the main mechanism on the frequency hopping spread spectrum radio technology. The available bandwidths are divided again into subfrequencies, and the signals hop to different bands. Radio frequency interference resistance is improved as high traffic frequencies are avoided due to hopping sequence. Each country's government regulates the broadcast spectrum and dictates certain aspects of the spread spectrum communication. These restrictions are in place to prevent a single device consuming too much bandwidth or remaining too long on a single frequency. Without the inventions of Lamar, there would be no basis for modern technology, such as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. We could even thank her for watching this video right now. Despite her invention now estimated to be worth $30 million, she walked away penniless.